Clifford Coulter is an American blues, R&B, and jazz guitarist and keyboardist, and a musical legend. He is a Columbia and Impulse Records recording artist, along with his co-producer Bill Withers, who penned major hits including Lean On Me and Ain't No Sunshine. Over the years, playing with B.B. King, John Lee Hooker, Mel Brown, and Sergio Mendez, Clifford has contributed a lifetime to our great American songbook. Coulter has released several albums, including East Side San Jose and Do It Now, Worry About It Later. His recording, The Better Part of Me, with Bill Withers, along with session players Russ Kunkel, Ronnie Beck, and Jerry Perez, is still a number one all-music album pick. Cliff has written songs for Tower of Power and many other artists in the California musical landscape, and he's also the musical director for Glide Memorial Church in San Francisco. In this episode, you'll find him playing with our friends in Blue Monday. On July the place about 1953, I'm serving time for I've been making music, I'd say, for about 65 years. Actually, I just walked up to a piano and started playing it when I was about seven. Not very well, but good enough. My parents heard about it. They ran over and saw me in the community center and bought me one. Hi, I'm Haley Loren. Welcome to the Paradise Music Hour, an exclusive public television concert series produced here in Paradise, California where you'll meet some of the world's best musicians singing and playing and telling us about their fascinating lives on the world's big stages. For the past couple of years, I have been hosting a remarkable show called Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise. As you may know, Paradise, California was destroyed in the campfire of November 2018. More than 18,000 structures and homes were destroyed, thousands are displaced, and over 80 souls perished. The whole world watched as the fire tore through Butte County, and hundreds sent prayers, clothing, money, food. It was an outpouring of love and support. Now, let's rewrite the narrative of devastation and loss to dedication and love for Paradise, the community that was and will rebuild. Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise is a new hour-long music series highlighting the hidden gems of our musical world. This audience polling series is brought to you by a team of musicians, producers, and videographers located here in the lovely Sierra Nevada foothills community of Paradise, California. The project sprang from recognizing the extraordinary talents of those musicians who often support the superstars but are hidden from view. Day gets tangled with tomorrow. Each hour remains the same as it seems. It's there that sometimes is always and never stays the same. Created, filmed, and edited by local folks and supported by a community that celebrates arts and music, this program provides a stage for artists such as myself and many others from varied backgrounds and genres to share their stories and music with the world. Many of these episodes feature performances at the beautiful Paradise Performing Arts Center and highlight many other local treasures. Please consider supporting this wonderful show. Every bit of support helps the town of Paradise and all of the remarkable and talented folks lovingly tied into each and every episode. The resilience of this community will shine through, and those of us at Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise intend to showcase the power of music to heal. I was born in Arizona. We moved from there to San Diego, from there to San Jose. I used to pick fruit in the fields for my school clothes. 
which was a good thing. You get a good work ethic. My primary instrument is keyboards. That's always been the nucleus of what I do. And then when I was a kid, I used to play Boogie Woogie. Just listening to uh, a lot of music and copying it and, and getting my own style from that. And I was like 12 or 13 doing that. Copy somebody else and then take that and make your own. Just remember when I was a kid, I played in this church and the guy goes, that's the devil's music. And I never, I never went back in there. You know, I was playing what I played, not, you know. And back then, even Ray Charles got accused of playing the devil's music when he was doing his thing, so. I was a band leader for Buddy Miles. We played this gig at a small club. He played so loud. Before we finished the second song, it was empty. And they paid to get in. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I recorded with Sergio Mendez and those guys way back in the day. I wrote the song uh, for Sergio, but we didn't collaborate. I didn't. I mostly write by myself. I try to write it and arrange it because you know I want certain sounds to be played while uh, against a certain vocal. I wrote two for Sergio, one for Bill Withers, which is a rarity. He very seldom records anybody's song. Two for Tower of Power. Then, of course, my albums might have recorded myself. I wrote all the songs on there. The keyboard player tonight, Clifford Coulter, Bill came up to San Jose and produced Clifford's album in 1980. But no, his, well, we had one that took off in England. Because when I got there, back in another friend of mine from Motown, the guy said, Cliff Coulter, your record was quite popular here. <laughs> Bill flew me down to uh, LA just to see if I could still play. So I'm staying at this hotel and I, I run into Steve Miller. He's staying there, right? And he recognized me from when I was with Buddy. So we talked and he offered me a job playing piano in his band. But Bill Withers flew me to L.A. and I figured since he made the effort, I, I went with Bill. But that was an honor. Yeah. 
can't forget uh, uh, John Lee Hooker. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Right on for your feet. Take you home with me. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love to see you walk. Recorded with him and Joe, Joe Cocker happened to be on the gig uh, at the recording session and I made the mistake of trying to out drink him. You can cut this out, right? Yeah. No. yeah. I, I, I was high on LSD when I tried to out drink Joe Cocker and boy, I just, the, poof. I don't know if you can leave that in, but oh, you can leave it in because I can tell you right now, I've been clean and sober since 87. Another gig I played, it was at Carnegie Hall. We were there setting up, trying to get a sound check, and we, the sound never did get right. That's when I realized, it doesn't matter, because it's never going to be what I want anyway. One time I was walking through the neighborhoods, my cousin and I, and uh, we came to like a place about three blocks from my house. We couldn't get to the neighborhood and it was uh, a street dance. And Clifford was playing with Jerry Perez on the guitar. This is before I even played. And had a B3 there and it was like, it was Woodstock or something, man, in the middle of the Woodstock. neighborhood. They called the police and shut it down. <laughs> what had happened was I got, went to a couple of radio stations, they were announcing it. 4,000 people showed up. At our house. <laughs> <laughs> I had discovered a one-man band trick. I was in my garage. I was in my garage working with my drum machine. I started playing, and well, I might be able to go out and get a gig doing this. So I started gigging, just me. And then Danny fell out with his band, so we got together. And boy, poof, it was just powerful. People loved us. I was sitting alone, nothing to do. All by my lonesome, baby, I've been thinking about you. Every night my friend to do, but drugs didn't come through. Got me a couple of dollars, guess what I'm surely gonna do. 
shake, shake, shake my booty Anytime I want to Every single day One of my favorite people was Clifford Coulter mm. we, had, we formed a little duo called Thunder and Lightning and he was just a magician on the keyboards and could sing all that old Ray Charles stuff, you know, all those different songs he could get going. So him and I became a staple around the clubs in San Jose. And then we both really liked Chris Kane's playing, and we always would play in jam sessions. So we decided to ask uh, Chris to come and join our Thunder and Lightning. <laughs> We became a, a, tr a trio for a while, mm. and we were, were playing like that. But um, we had to use a drum machine. So I thought, you know, Ronnie Beck is available. Why don't we just like have a regular band with a real drummer and let's just do this thing. So that's how the group got started, and we started playing around, and it were an instant success. One of the first gigs we played was down at the Monterey Blues Festival, mm. and then they wanted great us. Great first gig! Oh yeah, <laughs> and they wanted us on the main stage and mm. all of this stuff. But we all had other things to to do, so we didn't get together with Blue Monday once in a blue moon. <laughs> we would get Blue Monday together. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, I hate blues. Because it's kind of boring to me. It's the same three chords on every song. But playing it with these guys is so much fun.
dynamite Cause the fuse is lit Just about everything is in the keyboard now. Everything, strings, drums, bass, guitars, everything. Every instrument, they've sampled those and, and made it so you can play it and when you hit a key, you get a violin. Say, take it away, Clifford, and Clifford would just take you all around the world with his different sounds. You know, he'd mm. play the marimbas, and you'd go to Tahiti, and then mm. he'd play the voices, and you'd be mm. in a church, and then he'd play the <laughs> organ, and you know, he just would take it everywhere, go around the world, and yeah. with Clifford Coulter. We're gonna take you guys to the Virgin Islands. That's where all the virgins hang out. You were playing at the organ at, at the time, and you would line up oh, your yeah, shots across, uh, <laughs> across the organ. Oh. <laughs> He's telling on you. We were talking about Louis Armstrong, and we were doing blow. And somebody said something about him. He goes, yeah, Louis Armstrong, is he still dead? That's when I knew, really, that it's time to quit, and I did. <laughs> And when I said it, I was serious. Well, yeah, we cleaned up though. I mean, I've been clean since 86. I stopped drinking, period. 86 and 87, the rest. Musicians, you got a couple ways to go. Die. Or, or clean up. No. Yeah. Oh, she's introducing herself. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Monica Coulter. <laughs> All right, you guys. Good evening, Paradise. It was such a joyful thing for me last night, man. I just had a blast. Hey, man, it's always fun from the first time. Yeah. Baby, we've got to have our little talk. I guess I have to pack my things and walk. I know a dollar goes from hand to hand. But way before I let you go, man to man, I'd rather drink muddy water. Sleep out in a hollow log all night long, no. I love you, baby, but you won't be found. You don't even know how to be on the square. Come on and have that fun, girl. If you must fight before I have a woman that I can't trust. I'm a 
the track, money water, sleep in a hollow long, yeah. 